Okay, we're here at 1917 Benedict Canyon. Um, we were called out here to uh, inspect the sewer line. Apparently there was a previous inspector over here who said the line needed to be hydrojetted. We agree. So we went ahead and hydrojetted the sewer line over here. We've got it nice and clean. Um, according to the first inspection, when I looked at his video, the pipe in the street, to me, looked like it was in very good condition. There were some roots in the sewer line, in the four-inch clay pipe, many, very minor roots, but uh, there were roots which we've gone ahead and cleaned out. Right now, we're actually sitting at the city connection. You see the city sewer flowing by over there. We're going to pull the camera back. So here's your connection to the city. Looks pretty good. Now, these slight little offsets that you see, that's very common in a clay pipe that has um, cement joints. They never really line up perfectly, but even at the City Connection, it was very minor. I mean, it's nice and clean, the pipe. You can see it almost looks like a brand new clay pipe. The joints are good. There was never any roots in the line at all. This is very clean. This is a big six-inch pipe coming from the middle of the street towards the property. So here over here at the 6x4 connection, on the property, five feet deep, under the asphalt, we had some roots coming in here which we've cleaned out. And what you're looking at is probably a test T over here. Coming back here, the four-inch clay pipe, nice and clean, looks pretty good, nice and clean. Okay, it's going to take a little turn here, and this is where it actually connects to the cast iron pipe. Now, looking at it now... No, you, it's further back. It's further... Oh, this is still... Oh, okay, you're right. So, the, it's further back, Alex? Yes. Oh, okay, come back then. Coming through a cast iron pipe here, this looks pretty good. Now, remember, we're looking at the inside of the pipe. We cannot see the outside. But looking at this pipe, you can see there's minimum of rust buildup in the line. It looks pretty good. Right now, right over here, um, right over here where they've connected the cast iron pipe to the uh, clay pipe, you can see it sunk down here a little bit. Now, this is really, in my opinion, the worst part of the sewer line. We did locate that uh, underneath the concrete driveway, four and a half feet deep. Wouldn't be a bad idea to fix this and install a clean out over here. Coming back now, it's coming along the side of the house. You can see it's nice and clean, the clay pipe. Nice and clean, good condition. I'm giving you my opinion over here, and to me this looks very good, the line. That connection is really not connecting anything anyway. We checked everything in the house. You can see the pipe's nice and clean. Now, you may need some periodic cleaning on this line. Uh, when, in my opinion, by looking at the first video of the first inspector, I don't think uh, there was anything major that would cause any blockage to the line. Now we're coming back to some ABS plastic. This is all in good condition. That's just a little bit of debris in the line. This is all clean over here. So the sewer line is nice and clean. The only thing I'm a little concerned about, maybe a little shift in the line, which probably could catch stuff. You never want to flush tampons, baby wise, paper towels, etc. I'm going to pause the recording for now. We're just going to run the camera through the roof vent over here so we can check the pipe going underneath the foundation. Okay, so we're running the camera from the roof vent, and we're checking the piece going underneath the foundation. Alex, go ahead, pull the camera back. We're actually outside here. This is outside the, the house. It comes through a little piece of cast iron through the foundation. Very small piece, looks pretty good, coming up the roof vent. So that looks good coming underneath the foundation over here. Here we are on top of the roof. We'll go ahead and stop the recording over here.